you have to hit rock bottom before you can reach the shore, before you can hop onto your boat, this boat of life, this boat of excitement, this amazing journey that is just at your doorstep, before you become a sailor, and the challenges and the tribulations that come with sailing your life, you start from the rocks. Rock bottom is usually where we have our realization that this needs to change for good. I got a notification earlier today from our Facebook group. One of the guys was saying like, yo man, I'm just at rock bottom right now. My bank account has been overdrafted. You know, the, the invoice comes in, it's like OnlyFans. He's been OnlyFansing, he's been overdrafted. That's how, you know, troublesome it can be sometimes. I've definitely been there when I was younger. You know, some of these like subscription sites, it, it can be very alluring and, and very daunting. And he just felt like, man, like, you know, this feeling of, of pathetic, feeling pathetic and feeling uh, kind of worthless and just like, oh, like I'm so like deep into this. I can't believe like it has come to this, you know, where I'm in financial ruin from it. That's where you really start to see how far the symptoms of this addiction can go and at rock bottom is when you have your spring all this regret and all this pain ends up becoming motivation to change you know most people don't change until they have gone to the point where you know it's it's either this or your life is in a complete ruin and you get a taste of that ruin and then you finally change unfortunately you know bad habits do die hard so there is a lot of suffering uh, especially in the early stages, you know, I definitely, I would say my rock bottom was when I was a little bit younger, um, going from high school into university. That was tough, man. You know, that was tough. It's good to be aware of it, but sometimes you stay in your rock bottom. You think it's like your norm. You think that it's really you, but it's uh, f further from the truth. And you've just deluded yourself because it's it's hard to change. It's painful, and, and and it's hard to kind of you know put your ego down and recognize that this is negatively impacting me. It's all relative, you know, some guy might just be weeks and weeks of using OnlyFans, then he's broke. Another person, your, your rock bottom could just be like, been in a drought romantically, and uh, I'm fe I feel kind of asexual. And that, that was your rock bottom, and you just kind of felt porn came in and took away like your soul and took away your enthusiasm for life, your anxieties through the roof, living the cliche hedonistic lifestyle. Cheeto bag on your bed, waking up late, fat, keeping accumulating fat, kind of just this very negative self outlook on yourself, video game binges. That is essentially where you got to spring off of and how the way you spring, you know, to, how do you jump into the shore? You have to jump, you have to spring. And that leap of faith, as small as it may be, is to actually reach out. I told this guy, I'm like, yo, I'm so happy that you came and posted because this isn't gonna change unless you recognize that something needs to be changed and recognize the emphasis of that. See, when, when he felt that financial burden from it, he realized the emphasis that he needs to put on changing needs to be obviously higher than before. It needs to start really dialing things in and working on this. Now, it doesn't mean that, oh, I just gotta work my way down to rock bottom Oh, that's a great excuse. This is the rationalization. That's how you know you have the harmony inside of your mind is all over the place where you're just always clawing for any reason to self-sabotage, right? Guys who are so used to self-sabotaging and haven't actually worked on gaining mental clarity and harmony and actually processing their emotions in a healthy way. It's like they're a grenade waiting to go off, laying dormant to just like, yes, now it all makes sense. Mike Rashid, the bodybuilder, he, he watches porn, now I can do it. It's like they're just waiting for that moment to just go back back to where, to where they started. So it doesn't mean that you need to create rock bottom to fix this, absolutely not. It's relative. You just have to recognize that, you know? And there is something to be said with other people's stories. You can actually learn from that. You know, why, why don't we cross the road? Why do we look both ways? You, you don't need to recreate rock bottom. It's like saying like, why do I need to check both ways? I'll get hit by a car and learn then. No. No, 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 that's a very, very bad strategy. Think about how much pain, how much suffering, how many lives have been improved by people just heeding this like secondhand advice of like, bro, look both ways, you've seen what happens. You know, it's secondhand advice. Sure, some lessons are great to have first hand experience where it's like happening to you raw. Something to be said about that anecdotally, absolutely. 
not discrediting that, but you don't need to throw yourself under the van to realize you got to check both ways into, into care. Like, you know the consequences. So the, the same thing applies with this here. Don't get to the point where you're in financial ruin. Don't allow yourself for your rock bottom to go to the nether. You know, you Minecraft nerds, remember, you can dig through rock bottom. What happens, you just fall through. You go to the underworld or whatever. So, I know, you want to hop on the boat. We all do. And you're more than capable of doing that. You just have to start with the baby steps, man. Start with the baby steps. Learn about the law of nature, the fact that you're buoyant. Get into the water, start feeling the coldness on your knees. Walk into the water for a bit, get a feel of the water, start learning how to swim. You work to the basics and then it's like, okay, I trust myself to swim, I've worked on it for a while, then I'm gonna get my sailboat, I'll get my first sailboat. You don't need to wait for your life to be in ruin and be in fire for you to make a change now. 